Well, greetings, class. Uh, today we're going to be talking about calculating fertilizer application rates, and we're going to break that down to the three steps and that you'll need. Uh, I'm Ray Gless, and I work for the uh, University of Maryland uh, with the Institute of Applied Agriculture. This is one of the series that we have, the series that we have for soil science. So let's take an example and work through this example when we talk about calculating the size of the area to be fertilized. That's the first thing that we're going to look at. And basically we're going to look at uh, a given area and we're going to use length times width, which is how you find square footage. Okay. So uh, so we know that uh, we take the length and width and uh, multiply those two together to find the square footage of a given area. So as you put it out, place it out, you see that we put 40 feet here and multiply by 100 feet and you come up 4,000 square feet. That would be the uh, ideal way of coming up with the uh, length times width and that's your square footage for what we're talking about today. So that's step one. That's how you calculate area that you need to use. So 4,000, that's what you keep in mind for the total square footage. Mm -hmm. Second step is that we're going to look at calculating fertilizer application right now. Uh, for this exercise, we're going to uh, most, most always is one pound uh, per 1,000 square foot, and, and that's usually a given. You can look at fertilizer bags, and it will give you pretty much the same rate. And so um, when you do that. So uh, the other thing you look at, uh, too, uh, that most places suggest you go like 0.7 uh, for a simple reason they worry about runoff when dealing with fertilizer. So in this case, we're going to be using one pound per 1,000 square foot. That's your given rate. And we know already that we're using a 2000 fertilizer, and so that we're using nitrogen. So 20% is the nutrient in the fertilizer that we're going to use. Keep in mind when you're dealing with percent, and this is where people make the mistakes a lot of time in the calculations with fertilizers, they forget the rule that you, when you're dealing with percent, you drop the percent sign and move your decimal two places to the left. So you, whenever you do that, you drop that and change that to a decimal to be used in your formula. So basically, this is one. Uh, you have that 0.20, okay, and, and uh, you set that up like so. Divide that into uh, 2.0 into 1, you come up with 5. And so now you know that you're using 5 pounds of fertilizer per 1,000 square foot. That's your application rate. Okay, so that's how you determine your application rate for fertilizer. Step three, we're now going to calculate the pounds of fertilizer to apply to a total area, which we began the very first part, where we came up with 4,000 pounds, uh, excuse me, 4,000 square feet. And so uh, as you set the formula up, we, we know what the turf area is, the square footage, we know it's 4,000. We know the application rate, rate which we know is 5 pounds of uh, fertilizer. Now we're going to be looking for the, how much pounds for the total given area. And and always you you take this very simply those numbers and start plugging them into what you need to do. So again, we know it's 4,000 square feet is our total turf area, which we're going to look for. We know that it's five pounds of fertilizer, right? And of course, uh, we know that that five pounds of fertilizer is rate of a thousand. And what we're going to try to find out is a four thousand. So realistically, realistically, what you do then is take four thousand, multiply it by five. And divide it by a thousand square feet to get you how many pounds that you actually need for that given area, which would be 20 pounds of the fertilizer per turf area. So now you have how much you can apply, how much fertilizer in pounds you can apply for that area. So, ex so looking back in summary of this uh, exercise, uh, we took an example of a 40 foot by 100 foot turf area using a 200 fertilizer. So the first thing we did was we calculated the size of the area, which is basically length times width to find square footage. And we found out that the total area that we're working with is 4,000 square foot. If you look then, the second point we went to, we calculate what the application rate was. And remember that usually that's a given. And we used one pound per 1,000 square foot was how we figured that. And we came up with five pounds for 1,000 foot uh, square foot area. So then we moved to the third step which then we basically took the total square footage multiplied by 5 pounds and then divided by 1,000 and then we came up with 20. <clears throat> and so that's how many pounds you need for the total area of the turf area that we're talking about, 4,000 square feet. You're going to be placing on it 20 pounds of fertilizer for that area. 
For more information about the programs and classes at the Institute of Applied Agriculture on the University of Maryland campus, please visit us at iaa.umd.edu. Thanks for listening, and this is Ray Gless signing off.